Hey guys, what's up? Today I got an NU battle. This one is against Chaotic. Uh, he saw me and he recognized me from my laddering on PO. Uh, so, you know, that clearly means that either this is a team he's testing for PO or a team that worked very well on PO and is now using on Wi-Fi. Uh, whereas my team is, as almost always, just whatever I picked out of my boxes. So I'm kind of uh, in a little bit of trouble. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and lead with Floatzel because... I just, I figured Kadabra would lead, because I like to lead with Kadabra sometimes. Uh, I also thought maybe Regirock to get up rocks as soon as possible. But he's actually going to lead with his Mischievous, which is a little odd. But I'm going to switch out to my Gardevoir, because I know Gardevoir doesn't really take a whole lot from uh, Mischievous in general. And uh, he's actually going to switch out to his Vileplume, which I guess is probably a physical wall, most likely, because... Uh, yeah, Mr. Vos use your special walls. Or well, I mean they could their their defenses are pretty close. So it's it's possible to be either one. But whatever. Um so I'm gonna go for the Will O Wisp here as he switches into his Reggie Rock and give him a burn. He's gonna set up rocks. And well, you know, that's sort of what Reggie Rock does unless it's a curse set. Uh, now I'm gonna switch out to my Golem, because I figure he can't really touch me. And if he wants to go for the Thunder Wave, then he can't touch me. He's actually going to make the very risky play and go to Vileplume because even if he's max HP, max special defense, calm, my Gardevoir has no investment. I still 2 it hit KO him guaranteed and outspeed him with Psychic. So that was a very, very risky play. I could have just stayed in and Psychic. I mean, he's burned and there's really not much he can do to me. So uh, that was kind of shit. I thought maybe he'd go for a Giga Drain there, not wanting to put me to sleep. Uh, and I can get my rocks up at least, but no, he puts me to sleep. Of course, he doesn't miss, which I usually tend to miss when I use Sleep Powder on PO. Well, I mean, not tend to, but like it's nowhere close to 75% for me. But uh, yeah, so I have to go to my Gardevoir as he goes for the Aromatherapy, which is the original reason why he went into it in the first place to heal the burn on his Regirock. But as I explained, he would have gotten to a KO by Psychic 100% chance and not gotten to move off. So that was, uh, yeah, really kind of shitty transaction there but uh i'm gonna go for the psychic as he switch into his mischievous i'm gonna go for it again because i figure if he's gonna lead he has taunt which uh, a lot of them tend to do but yeah, he does have taunt and obviously i'm not gonna go for the willow so i'm just gonna hit him with the psychic then switch out to raichu as he's probably gonna go for the pain split and this wasn't exactly like a great option i guess i didn't want to switch into anything but raichu works because i'm gonna go for the encore now his pain split does nothing because we're at identical HPs because he just used Pain Split and I'm free to go for any move I want. Unfortunately uh, this Regirac's going to come in and really not take a whole lot from Thunderbolt. I mean it's going to do like 30% but I mean Regirac does have 100 base special defense so it's not like it's crap by any stretch of the excuse me, imagination. Um, so I'm going to switch to Livani because the Earthquake is fairly obvious and Livani Quad resists that Earthquake. I'm going to waste my Focus Sash because of rocks anyways. So might as well switch in now when I'm going to take only like 20 damage. So I do that. I'm going to go for the Sword Stance. I figure I can probably wreck a good portion of his team. But he is going to go into his uh, Vile Plume. And unfortunately, when I was uh, deciding the third move, I considered Aerial Ace just for like Grass Poison Pokemon like this, like Vileplume and, and other things, but it wouldn't have really made much of a difference because it would have been the same base power as x in the end, and that's why I decided to go with Return instead, which uh, hits other things better. I, I couldn't really think of any at the time, but because what resists Grass and not normal other than Grass and Steel. Well, Flying, I guess. Yeah, Flying, I think, was the main reason. But, uh, yeah, so that X's are really only does, like, half, which kind of was underwhelming, to say the least. But, uh, he takes me out very easily with X, or not X's, or I went for X's, with Sludge Bomb. And, uh, yeah, so I go into Guard of War. I'm gonna go for the Psychic. I'm gonna switch here because, uh, Mr. Viz is actually faster than me. So I'm gonna go into Raichu, and I figure he might Pain Split again. But he's actually gonna Saturn Ball. It doesn't really matter because I still live that. And I'm just gonna throw out a Thunderbolt and try and hit whatever... And he's going to just stay in and let him die. So that's uh, at least a KO. <laughs> at least he didn't go into his Vile Bloom and uh, take the hit. Because he would have most likely lived that. Although I could have went for the HP Ice. But, you know. So I'm going to want to float out. Because I figure 
pretty much everything gets ruined by Gardevoir at this point. Um, pretty much. And I figure Kadabra would be the best option because he at least resists Psychic and he can hit me with the Shadow Ball and do tons of damage. So I figure go to Float Cell and uh, I can set up a bulk up. He can't KO me even if he's Life Orb with Psychic let alone not, and not Psyshock. Uh, I can get up a bulk up and then I can, you know, take him out and do some work. But he goes into Vile Plume right away and I calced it and the Ice Punch had a decent chance to kill. But unfortunately, the set I pulled up actually was Life Orb and I didn't realize that. And mine's Leftovers. So the Ice Punch had like, well, I think, almost 0% chance to kill. And so that kind of sucked. But uh, I'm going to go into Gardevoir here. See, Sludge Bomb doesn't really do a whole hell of a lot, only about 70, but he does get the poison right away, which, I mean, I think it's a 30% chance anyway, so it's not that huge of a deal, but still kind of sucks. Uh, and, yeah, so I'm just going to go for the Wish, and he's going to go for the Sludge Bomb again. Doesn't really do a whole hell of a lot because, it, you know, it's not really that strong of a move. Well, I mean, it's a strong move, but, like, again, like, he's got bad stats to back it up and I've got really good stats on my special defense and uh, now I'm just gonna go for the psychic because I know I can uh, do I think I can pretty much kill him at this point and he's probably gonna switch anyways because the protect is super obvious so I do go for the psychic and that's going to hit the incoming cadaver pretty well I mean like I said before this cadaver would have taken a hit would have taken two actually easily and could have taken me out with shadow ball so that's why you know, as I said, went to Float Cell, but unfortunately, that's not how it worked out. And uh, if I had a switched right away, that would have worked out a little better, but... Meh, anyways, so we're going to Float Cell here as fodder. I figure he's not going to sub because I can break his sub endlessly. The Psychic, because that did way more than 25%. Uh, but he's going to just go with the Shadow Ball, and that's fine. I go to Fracture, I'm Scarfed, so I can uh, easily take it out with a Dragon Claw as I outspeed. And that is exactly what I'm going to do, and exactly what's going to happen. Unfortunately, I'm sort of running really low on Pokemon, and I know being locked into Dragon Claw is bad. I didn't want to go for the Outrage. Uh, I guess mostly just because he could have went into Sock, but I don't think a Dragon Claw would have killed this anyways, and he would have gotten off a Thunder Wave, and, you know, same thing would have happened. But I go to Gutter and he's going to hit me with a Stone Edge, and that's going to do a lot more than I thought it would. But again, I think Regirock's attack is, what, 100? 2 or something like that? Or 80? Or... I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so I go for the Psychic because I figure burning it doesn't really matter. And I'm hoping to do enough damage to where my Outrage will take it out, but that's yeah clearly not going to happen. So he kills me, and I'm just going to go to my Fracture, just kind of a last hurrah, just hoping maybe I can like get a crit or something and just take him down. Because he still has, what, Sock? Which, if it has Sturdy, doesn't even really matter at all because he A, outspeeds me, and B, I don't have Rocks up, so he'd survive two hits he well he'd get two hits off on me um but yeah outrageous doesn't even come close to KOing him so you know he's gonna be able to beat me pretty easily um but yeah I'm locked in outrage so I can't flee from the battle and forfeit at this point yet so I have to wait he's gonna miss the stone edge which doesn't really matter because on the next hit he's going to hit a uh, earthquake after barely living outrage and it's going to crit me which I'm gonna live but if he had to hit the stone age and just use the earthquake assuming he didn't die from that min max damage then uh, I would have died anyways because stone edge is stronger than earthquake so it's you know one stone edge and one earthquake is better than two earthquakes which is essentially a crit but I finally take him out he's gonna go into his uh, vile plume and I'm like I said just gonna run because that's uh, really all I have left I'm paralyzed confused and at 10 HP so hope you guys enjoyed the battle and uh, if I had gotten rocks up and not left my float cell in on his vile plume I would have probably been off quite well off in that battle but eh, things happen stuff happens and uh things and stuff happens. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.